there are some places on Earth where the sun doesn't set. It's true. In the summer months, certain countries close to the Earth's poles experience periods of sunlight that can last 24 hours and more. The people that live in these places have reported having more energy and needing less sleep. Eventually, however, the regular day and night cycles return and the sun sets again as usual. But what would happen if it was always daytime? What if the entire planet was always covered in sunlight? No, it won't be like that. Let's get back to the reality. First of all, it would be impossible with our current galactic setup without seriously defying some laws of physics. The Earth is a sphere, and there's only one sun. So that means one side of our planet has to face away from the sun and experience darkness. The closest we could get at the moment is being tidal locked, which means that one side of the planet always faces the sun while the other side always faces away. But what if there were multiple suns so that the sun was constantly bathed in light? At first, it may be great. We'd have so much more time to do things and we'd only need to sleep if we were truly tired. We'd be full of energy and solar power would solve nearly all our electricity needs. Plants would grow twice as fast with a constant food source and we'd experience unprecedented levels of productivity. Soon, however, we'd begin to see some of the issues that would arise from having permanent sunshine. On a superficial level, we'd never be able to experience a sunrise or sunset again. It would be impossible to see any stars without leaving the atmosphere. Nocturnal animals would have to adapt to being in the sun or risk facing extinction everyone would need to get blackout curtains to get a good night's sleep. Without the day and night cycle, the sun's energy would be pouring into the earth at all hours. Currently, when the sun doesn't set in the poles, the sun has to shine through the atmosphere at an angle before it reaches the ground. Its power is greatly reduced, and it doesn't get much hotter than usual. In this scenario, where the sun lights up the whole planet, however, the sun is shining directly onto the Earth with all its power. The planet can only absorb so much energy, and the excess energy would be emanated as heat. This would cause the surface temperature of the planet to rise far beyond anything we've ever experienced, and eventually cause all the water in our oceans to evaporate. As you probably know, without water, all life on Earth would cease to exist all the life in the ocean would suffocate and die. Everything on land would become dehydrated and shrivel up. Our planet would become a lifeless and barren desert. However, let's pretend that humanity somehow found a way to survive this. We are a race of survivors after all. Somehow, we found ways to synthesize our own water and food and are living on the scorching desert that we once called Earth. How would we cope? At this point, the surface of the planet would be far too hot to be inhabitable. And with our current technology, we would have to retreat underground in order to escape the heat and radiation from the sun's rays. We could survive short bursts of exposure with enough sunscreen and clothing covering our skin, but we wouldn't really have any reason to since everything on the surface would be dead. You might also think that some people would be able to absorb the radiation and mutate or evolve to be able to handle this. But unfortunately, that sort of reality only exists in science fiction. Instead, anyone foolish enough to try to live on the surface would eventually die from skin cancer. So the ironic conclusion is that if we lived on a planet that had constant daytime, we'd be forced to migrate underground where it is perpetually dark in order to survive. Who knows? Maybe after hundreds of years we'd be able to develop technology that would allow us to live on the surface again and pretend like nothing ever happened.
The next time the sun goes down and the night sky is all you can see, take a moment to enjoy the stars and be thankful for the fact that you can watch the sunrise in the morning.